you know, I've been at, at the AJC since 1989. And, uh, you know, my editor has, has cracked down on me a little bit. Uh, she says that I now have to be in by noon. So, th <laughs> so, so things have changed since I was with Tom, you know, and I would just show up at 3 or 4. Uh, I have to be in by noon. And, uh, you know, the, uh, of course, the first thing I do is I have lunch. So I have lunch. <laughs> and then I, I, sit at my, I sit at my desk. And uh, to the untrained eye, it doesn't look like I'm doing anything. Because, because I'm really not doing anything. I'm just, I'm sort of, you know, I'm, I'm reading the AJC, I'm reading the New York Times, I'm looking at the internet, various uh, 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 blogs and news sites, but I'm waiting for the magic hour of 3 p.m. Because, because what happens, this, you, you know, they say a runner, when a runner is running, they get a runner's high, it's called. Well, around 3 o'clock, I get sort of a silliness high. And it's at that point that, I can kind of take a topic and uh, maybe a topic that I've written down and start trying to you know, get my point across on, on an issue using, using humor. And it, so it, I, I'm just sort of a late, you know, I'm not a morning person. So around 3 o'clock that happens, and, and I take a couple of ideas. They're just very rough sketches. And I, I bring them to, have you heard of Jay Bookman? He's the columnist at the AJC. Now, I, like, I really like Jay because Jay is so honest with me. And 99 times out of 100, I'll bring him the first couple of ideas, and he'll just say, no, that's, those aren't very good. And I love that. I, you know, it's, I think I have a problem because I like to be rejected. <laughs> because once I'm rejected, I go back into my office, and I think to myself, I'm really going to show Jay now. And so I'll come up within, you know, within 15 or 20 minutes a couple more ideas that are, that are better than, than the first two. And often, most of the time, he rejects those, the next ones. You know, it's, it's, sometimes it's an ongoing thing until like 5 or 5.30, and he's just telling me no. And I'm actually apologizing to him, because I'm saying, you know, sorry these things st stink. But, it's, but it really helps me to, you know, it just m makes me do better and better. And, and as, as my deadline, my final deadline is 5.30, so I start to panic. So, I so, so the way I work is I procrastinate and then panic. That's how I come up with my ideas. And, and so as it gets later and later, you know, and, and, the, and the part that's really hard is like, is like if there's not a good issue or it's, or if it's the same issue that I've been doing cartoons on and there's no new thing to say, then I just really panic. But I just really zero in on what I'm doing. And, and oftentimes at 5:30, when it's my, you know, when I, it's my drop dead deadline, that's when I come up with some of my favorite cartoons. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a weird, it's a weird profession. You know, I want to be interesting, and I want, I want people to read me, and I, I, and humor is a big part of that for me. I think that humor is what really, you know, if I can, if I can make my point using humor, that's, that's the best for me. And it's oftentimes that I really have to sit back and think you know what, I'm just so ticked off here that I need to take a breath and try and find a humorous way to make the point that I'm so pissed off about. And so it's really, it's, it's, sometimes it's really not easy to, 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 to separate that. Um, OK. Uh, this cartoon, I did this a few years ago. But you know, this was, it, it shows how fast things change in our culture. Remember, it wasn't that long ago when the thought of gays marrying, you know, that's, that was the Republican wedge issue. That's how they, you know, how, how, how they governed by, by scaring people about, you know, gays in your neighborhood married. Well, now, you know, it's still, it hasn't quite happened, but, you know, people are much more accepting of, of, of gays and the idea of gays in the military and, 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 and gays marrying. Uh, so I did this cartoon. I've got Osama saying, here's my plan for destroying America. <laughs> We sneak in and marry each other. Now, now, if you notice, these two guys are looking at each other. You know, they're, they're eyeing each other. Now, I mentioned, I mentioned earlier, uh, you know, sometimes the issues, you know, summertime, the issues are difficult because news sort of slows down a little bit. Uh, and, you know, the, the oil spill has been a continuing, uh, just a continuing, terrible thing. So, you know, I'm, I'm 
looking for new ways to, new points to make with, with, with this. Um, so I've, I've got a gentleman, he's saying, who needs a, a pole, who needs a pole? The fish float right up to you. Never petted a pelican before? Now you can, or you can now. It's a BP PR person. <laughs> now, now, wouldn't that be a tough job, being a PR person for BP? That's gotta be, that's gotta be, you would really have to be creative there. This I did last year. This is just, you know, he's, he, he's such a, a, a great hero, and there's very few heroes. So I've got a bunch of steroid take, takers saying, how come when we take steroids, he gets bigger? So thank you. Now, this, you know, this, I don't know why I like this cartoon a lot, because, uh, you know, I tried texting while driving. And, and it, it's, a scare, it's very scary. And I'm, you know, a somewhat experienced driver, and we have, uh, Gosh, three kids now that drive, so I'm, I'm really worried for them, and I'm always telling them, no, don't text when you drive. So this is a two-panel cartoon. In the first panel, you see this kid, is, he's, he's writing, I'm texting while driving, and the recipient of the uh, text is saying, LOL, laugh out loud, because it's the Grim Reaper. Now, I like to, I, I like to uh, sometimes combine different things that are going on. And uh, you know, last year, a lot of people were watching the Atlanta Housewives, and and so I just so and I like drawing caricatures. So I drew uh, uh, Kim and Nini here, and and they're <laughs> saying we can't compete with the. Oh, now th this is one of my. This is I really like th this cartoon because it just it just sort of all all felt it together. This was shortly after uh, the sp the oil spill, and uh, I, I did it to Margaritaville. He's saying, "Wasting away again in Petroleumville, hoping for my addiction to halt." Some people claim that there's an oil rig to blame, and I know it's my own damn fault. So <laughs> I like that one. Thank you. And don't I have a lovely singing voice? <laughs> this is another, I kind of like this one too. Uh, this is when that, you know, I don't understand people sometimes, but Joe Barton, the, the Texas Republican who, who apologized to BP for their uh, unfair treatment, uh, you know, they said that that, they said that $20 billion that, that Obama got BP to put aside was, was, was they were being sh shaken down, you know? And so I've got, I've got Barton, this is a two panel. In the first panel he's saying, I'm sorry the spill has harmed an innocent creature like you. I'll bathe and nurse you back to health. And you see he's, it's the, B, it's the CEO of BP that he's bathing and nursing back to health. This is, on, this is on the debate over gays in the military. Uh, a soldier saying, we're uncomfortable with gays in the military. And the other guy says, yeah, they're, they're clumsy. <laughs> this, is, this is part of the uh, craziness in our country right now. This is a <laughs> show me your paper. <laughs> ah, thanks. This is also uh, what's going on in the country. This is during the State of the Union. Uh, you see it's, gosh, you can't make that out. That's, that's Obama there. I don't know why it's not turning out very, he's at the State of the Union podium and it's, you know, it's, they, uh, Republicans have spelled out no. This, this is one of my big fears. This is the, this is the all over body scan. You see. 